last movie review here. Let's get it on the movie Truth. And sadly, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, Truth was probably my least favorite uh, journalism movie I watched on the semester. I mean, glad to end with a bang, but I don't know. I didn't really care for Truth. And I think a lot of it had to do with it was just kind of just kind of a cheesy way of what I saw journalism to be. I mean, everything, maybe it was the acting or I don't know. I, I did read something about how it was, was it Vanderbilt, the director's first film that he ever directed. So you got to give some leeway to that. I mean, it just seemed kind of like cheesier. Uh, Mary Maves. Yeah, I mean, it was, I, I don't want to be too negative about it. But the thing, you know, all the conspiracy theory and all that, wording a, a big speech about journalism, uh, ironies about it. Questions that are asked, such as like, we'll ask as many questions to get the answer. Um, for journal for the American people, like you have to ask as many questions as you can, and you have to do whatever it takes to get the answer because the American people deserve to know that. Um, but at the same t and it also said like questions help get us truth. Help uh, questions help us get the accuracy. And when you stop asking those questions. Um, American people start to lose. But the thing is, uh, Mary Mapes or whatever her name was in the film, she she didn't uh, ever care to know if her questions, answers, or anything, background information on anything was even accurate. Um, and I think that was a lot of uh, betrayal of trust, like not being able to acknowledge, um, say, errors that you might commit. And I think that's a big part of uh, what I saw in this movie is just, I didn't know how accurate it was, I really didn't. I, like I said, I know it was that guy's first film that he directed, so you can't really cut him, or you can't cut him some slack, I guess, even though it's kind of a big deal. But yeah, it's kind of when Mapes talked about like the president, uh, kind of the press and having a privilege of power, and this goes back to our old saying, uh, like the power of the press, uh, holding the power accountable, and, uh, but they, they want to get the truth of everything, they want to, throughout the movie, want to ask questions and get the truth and accuracy, but it's like almost that thing where you don't say double check to know if those facts are straight or if they're accurate or kind of digging in deeper to the people that you're asking. Um, so just to kind of go through a few of these questions in front of me. Uh, what'd they do, right? I mean, they did do asking the questions part of it, right? And like the reporting and going to multiple sources. But the wrongness was, like I said, just the lack of acknowledging error and inaccuracies of different situations. Uh, with modern media at times, it's super accurate because it's so inaccurate uh, with what the media portrays. Uh, think about even today with the coronavirus, they've they've flared out a lot of false, uh, what is the left false, tests, they, they, and, but they want everything based on the dead virus, even though there are a lot of underlying diseases, so the numbers are, and that's kind of, I see here, actually the information of what people, so I think big and uh, issues that we tackle here with the media is the media tends to just lie a lot and the American people don't to understand. Um, and my own personal uh, thoughts in these situations is I've, I'll do whatever I can to make sure everything is 100% accurate. And that's the whole point of it. That's the whole point of reporting, writing, writing journalism. But um, I don't mean to knock on this movie too much, like I said. Um, but hey, this is it. Last movie review. Thank you all for tuning in. It was a great year and let's end it with a bang.